Welcome back to Play on Wheels. Today, we're digging under the hood of the uh, 64 Jet Star. Trying to actually get the hood to close. Um, it's not good, but we can work with it. So, all right, guys. So I'm going to show you here. Um, well, first of all, this is our newly acquired. 1964 Oldsmobile Jetstar 1. Um, car probably doesn't look like much, but uh, it's all there, you know. It's been sitting for a long time. I think the tag down there says 77. So this thing's been sitting for a really long time but anyway uh, back to the the point here so right now when I try to shut the hood I can tell really bad things are happening with the hinges uh, we got some rust some rot and areas that we don't want it but basically the hinges uh, whoever kind of slapped this car back together didn't really put the bolt back in right sorry right there I'm just having the hardest time actually getting those lined back up and getting everything right. So what I'm going to do is actually unbolt the hood from the hinges and then unbolt the hinges from the car and then just set the hood down onto the car to protect it from, you know, rain and storms and debris and whatnot. Because, I mean, the car is nice enough to uh, save is the plan. All right, let's get to it. I'm by myself, obviously. I got a 2x4 and an impact wrench, so let's see if we can like break something or maybe have a successful go at removing this hood and getting it out of the way. So my goal, I'm going to wedge the wood in here, loosen these bolts. I've got my third point of contact there, so I'm hoping that with the wood and this loose that this will still remain then I can walk around unbolt the other side and then pull the wood out and with my third arm that is invisible I'm gonna like somehow maneuver this onto the roof of the car so let's see what happens all right there's one and only a half a pound of metal fell out when I did that Ah, of course. Impact won't fit. Off to get a regular socket wrench. Obviously, when I said socket wrench, I meant electric. You guys won't believe this, but this won't fit either. I guess I could lie and say that, yeah, hey guys, I grabbed the right socket the first time. Um, Let's get this hood pulled off, but I mean, I'm not that good at editing, so you're going to know that it took me three tries. Alright, call me crazy, but my theory slash plan appears to be working flawlessly. talking about all right hold on everybody calm down if I remove this that was probably a bad idea uh, let me think here this hood is unbelievably heavy you guys and I don't want to mess it up so I might have might have messed up here what I'm going to try to do is just like gently lay it down and 
probably hurt something so I can get a better grip. Nope, 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 not good. Not good. Okay, stay. Guys, I kid you not, this hood probably weighs like, I don't know, at least 100 pounds. I was not prepared for that. Um, so, dang it. All right. I don't think my... Okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh. Okay. That, that was a lot. That was a lot. Okay. Okay, so, like I said before, the plan now is to just pull the factory hinges off. We'll see if we can work those loose. I've already sprayed them with some uh, you know, lubrication. The goal here for this to work out would be that we don't break any off, which is precisely why I'm going at this with a wrench because if it, if it was going to break, it would hurt my hand too bad, and I wouldn't be able to push it. Does that make sense? Like, I'm using my own pain as a torque wrench, but in reverse. Yeah. And it's working. And it is flat out hot out here. Whose idea was this anyway? All right, driver's side hinge has been removed. I priced a set of these on eBay. Now, I don't think they had sold but they were like 275 bucks. We are not trying to buy another set. Another thing I like to do, I don't know if you guys want any kind of like of my thoughts and tips and tricks, but put your bolts back in where they go if you have the, the ability to, because at least until you go to do the next thing you'll I mean you can't lose them because they're where they belong so I wonder what my strip garage is doing right now This one's starting to hurt. And this is the rusty side. So my hand torque wrench in pulling motion has a higher torque setting than in pushing. So remember, because yeah, I just broke that off. But we'll probably end up cutting this section out. You guys will see why in just a minute. And replacing the metal. So I'm not too super worried about it. If you guys know anything about these cars, let me know in the comments. This is the first one I've ever seen. Uh, I know they made, you know, a few thousand of them, but this is the first one I've ever, like, seen in person or knew what it was when I was looking at it because of the label on the post. So, so let me know if you know anything about these cars. I, I've done a little bit of research, and I'm probably going to need some input from some of the experts out there because 
I don't really know what I've got going on here, and I'd like to hear from somebody who does uh, maybe what what I got here. Like I said, not ideal, but at the end of the day, we saved three hundred dollars and might have to spend you know 20 bucks on a piece of sheet metal but alas the hinges have been removed all right guys so now that i've got the hood out of the way and we can see a lot better under here um this is the area i was telling you guys about just now uh you know it's a little rusty but with a welder and some creativity, I'm sure we can patch it at least uh, enough to make it function. And this car is supposed to be all original. Um, have not run any numbers off the engine. I don't know if the air cleaner is original. But this should be a old 394 cubic inch. I believe high compression engine but that's where I might need some help from the experts because if we take a little peek here under the air cleaner which I'm gonna show you guys we only got us a double barrel under there and based on my research this car would have come standard with a four barrel intake and carburetor so I'm a little confused again guys I haven't run the numbers on this thing but you know so I was told it was original when it was parked which again I believe was in 1977 so about 47 years ago this thing was parked and it looks like somebody did some work on it you know some body work or at least an attempt um, actually I believe the there's some guys that run a shop called uh, hibachi auto body and you know it looks like they might have done just a little bit of work on this the front end of this car and i mean they did a good job you know there's no lines in the filler or anything so it's really smooth but anyway enough of that um guys let me know in the comments if you know anything about these engines if you know like where the numbers are and how i could tell if it's original and you know what what should i be looking at on this thing to uh to figure out what i've got going on all right guys well the goal for today was to get the hood hinges off get the hood to where we can lay it flat on the car we want to protect anything that's happening underneath the hood until we find out what we have and until we can um you know get something either get this thing in dry storage but regardless probably for the next few times we tinker with this thing we're going to be removing the hood um manually we won't be you know we won't have the hinges done uh that that soon but regardless the goal for the day was accomplished and if you made it this far in the video thank you and subscribe if you haven't uh greatly appreciate you watching my videos um and with that i think we're going to end it off here i'm going to get this hood back on this thing and honestly go cool off for a few minutes thanks again like subscribe uh, if you want to see more videos leave a comment tell me what what you think have a great day